I like Stephen Colbert. I think he's funny. But he's posing as a news anchor so he can get away with more. And it's very, very leftist. Okay, fine. But he does this 11-minute piece. I haven't even played it today. But we're going to play some on the Nightly News tonight, Kaiser. Attacking me, demonizing me. He says WikiLeaks is fake. He actually says fake. Alex Jones is fake. And Reddit's fake. And then he goes and shows a bunch of theories that I didn't say or twist them. They use a Washington Post quote where I say Hillary kills children. She chops them up and rapes them. <laughs> but, of course, the full quote, when you actually go to the video they link to, is I said, by funding al-Qaeda and ISIS rebels in Libya and Syria. Now, the Washington Post admitted that, but NPR ran it yesterday, nationally and locally. His plug got unplugged. I, uh, I am my unplugged. It's fine. It's all right. Hey, we're, we don't freak out like mainstream I'm media. Unplugged. Stuff unplugged. Unplugged. Uh, we're going we're to get a, 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 a teleprompter in here. It's okay. Someone's un unplugged me. You can plug him again, Anthony Cumia. We're going to do a new show called I'll, I'll, I'll show you where the hole what, is. What about doing a show, Alex Jones Unplugged? Unplugged. But let's get serious for a minute. Where's my plug? And uh, so NPR ran it. With a quote of me on local and national, I actually have the clips, and I never got to him today, where they say, Alex says she chops up and rapes children. Yeah. And it's edited, me talking about, she. I, says, I don't know if this, all this pedophile stuff's real, but I know she funded the murder, rape, and torture of children by funding radical Islamists. That's General Flynn. That's declassified. That's come out in the news. So all I'm saying is it's next level twisting, next level lying, where I have family calling me last night going, did you say she chops up kids? I go and find <laughs> the damn thing. It took me an hour. And sure enough, it's an out of context quote. So how do you counter lies of this magnitude? Well, what about Abu Ghraib prison? I mean, it was totally normalized, the torture. Penn State. And, and rape of these prisoners by Americans. And apparently some of those tapes were sent to Dick Cheney and his wife. They're all watching them as part of their uh, sexual pro proclivities. Uh, you know, that was the beginning of the psychosexual escapades in American politics. So, you know, now they're turn trying to turn that on the media, the alternative media, the new media. Yeah, but calling WikiLeaks fake? That's just documents. Well, you know, WikiLeaks, again, is probably the single greatest influence that, un that killed Hillary Clinton's president. A, a, a sure. Ambition. And you know why sure. Colbert's mad? He came out in the WikiLeaks. Have you heard this? Yeah. He's here. It is right here. He's in a whole bunch of them saying, and his producers are being directed by Hillary and Podesta. Look, the problem with doing. No wonder it's not funny anymore. You know, the problem with doing comedy <laughs> news, like if you have John Stewart, John Stewart stepped out at the perfect time because he left Stephen Colbert to implode. You know, the problem with doing comedy and trying to do news and comedy and fake news comedy is that eventually, you know, it, 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 it eats you alive because essentially Colbert will never be taken seriously at the end of the day because he is really a comedian. And this is what kills a lot of comics in the end uh, because you can't escape the fact that you're a clown and no one should take you seriously. And so now he's upset because he's, he, he's not to be taken seriously. Uh, in fact, on election night, he was saying, are you being funny? He goes, no, I can't do it anymore. Right. And it's like, dude, why didn't you just become a news anchor? He should then? step down then. If he can't be a comedian anymore. Well, he's he genuinely pissed in this down. telling me to effing grow up. Well, he should step down because he's not funny anymore. Uh, his job is to make people laugh. That's his job. He's a clown. If he can't make people laugh. Sure, then sure. Down. Well, he said there was no way Trump would win. It'd be a landslide. So who's the fake news? Uh, Anthony Cumia, who runs his <laughs> own network, we'll put it up on screen for everybody. He's got the great Gavin McGinnis and many others on. Uh, we're honored to have him host an hour a, a week whenever he feels like it. And again, you can find out more at compoundmedia.com. I don't mean to bring myself up. I'm not I'm not gonzo journalist, as everybody knows. People are interested in the actual news. But you got the Pope saying, if we question mainstream media, we 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 eat turds. I mean, I'm entering the twilight zone, and then we have sexual pleasure with them. It means how sick his brain is. Oh, he's like <laughs> putting that in my mind. And then we've got Colbert flipping out, saying, I need to grow the F up. What do you think's happening? It seems like a meltdown's happening. Alex, I am so proud, by the way, that you are now the number one scourge of the left. You're the guy. It, we've seen it happen over the years with other people. Rush back when uh, Clinton was president and Breitbart and everything. You have taken, talk about that new level. You are now the brand new absolute scourge to the left. I love and it. And they don't know what to do about it. It's, fa it's fascinating to watch and it's fantastic. But what do I do? Because, I mean, I'm sure you've had people come up to you on the street. In fact, you have. And you call them idiots like they are and you get fired. I'm having people literally run from me in these displays or say they want to kill me now for no reason. I'm just sitting there. and it, It's not very liberal. Well, you are uh, you you kind of are the face of of 
alternative media, of uh, the, the media that was giving the people the truth during the 18 months of campaigning that we saw while they were uh, uh, lying to everybody. And then when push comes to shove and, and uh, the election happens and we see who was actually right and who was wrong, they like to dub everyone that was right as, like you said, fake news. Uh, and so you're the face of that to them. But meanwhile, to America and to the people that uh, voted for uh, for Trump, uh, you were the guy that had it right. It's crazy. And here's a silly analogy. It's like if you have this car they sell you, the mainstream media, you try to start it, the engine falls out like a like an old uh, Three Stooges cartoon as you drive off the lot and it's black smoke and it stalls. That's mainstream media. Lies, nothing's true, twisted, talking points, proven as a fraud. Infowars or Compound Media or Max Kaiser, a Drudge Report, put the key in, starts great, going 80 down the highway. They call that fake. They call delivering and being accurate and having giant audiences fake. So I'm glad that the fake news calls us fake. But but I'm going to hand the baton to you and, and get a final comment from uh, our friend Max Kaiser here. But both of you, at first, uh, Anthony, where do you see this going then? I mean, because they really have collapsed. Now they say they want state-run media. Will they be able to actually do this? It is so, like I said, it's fascinating fascinating and fun to watch this whole thing because they don't know what to do. All they can do is what they've been doing. And what that did was uh, get everyone in the country to absolutely not trust them anymore. And they see everybody going to these other sources to find their news. And they're in panic mode. And you got people like you mentioned, uh, uh, Colbert, who uh, uh, was the fake conservative guy on Comedy Central and was unbelievably popular and now he's himself and no one could stand the guy. So they don't know what to do. They're scrambling. Meanwhile, guys like you and I and Gavin and your guest here and everybody else that's giving people what they want are, they have to be labeled. So this will continue, but I think we saw a grand awakening of uh, people in America and they're not as stupid as they were even a year ago, as far as the media is concerned. And take we look Max. and we say, they're <laughs> lying to us, and now we know it. I agree. And take Max. I would call Max a classical liberal, but he, he's been liking Trump when it was unpopular for a year. By the way, how did you get away with that with your liberal audience? <laughs> Oh, I mean, it, it just, just don't care. Yeah, they don't care. I mean, look at the logic of it. But I mean, you know, Hillary herself said she had two personas, one for the public and one for private. She's totally inauthentic. She had her, her speeches for Goldman Sachs where she gave one speech and then she gave her speeches for the public. Whereas Trump gives kind of the same speech to everybody. And your show is you're authentically Alex Jones. I mean, yeah, you're down here in Texas. You're kind of a redneck, if I can use that expression without causing too much uh, uh, I don't you know, care. consternation. But that you know, you're authentically who you are. And, uh, you know, we're, we're, we are free to dismiss some of what you're saying. And uh, we're free to embrace some of what you're saying, too. But, you know, sure, so not, where does it go with them? I don't though? feel like you, you know, when you hang up the microphone, you go and you're a completely different person. No. I know that you're not. You're the same guy on air who's off air. And so this is the... Well, that's what I'm asking. What, what happens to them now? I think that they go the way of the dodo. They're being... They're, they are becoming extinct. You know, the media... There's only 24 hours a day. People can only watch so much media per day, per person. And if you're not being watched, uh, you know, you're not going to get the support... Sure, from they go extinct, but away. they're saying they want to shut us down. And already in Europe and on Facebook, we're starting to block our articles. It's on Drudge Today. So I want everybody to know, they bring us down. I just go on a long vacation till the revolution's won. They're going to shut everybody down. So everybody to know, if they can shut Bannon down, Drudge, Breitbart, and InfoWars, those, that's who they're listing. And I tell you, I don't like, I, actually, it's weird to be number one being attacked because it is happening. I've reached number one status. And it's kind of fun, but kind of not fun because I'm like, <laughs> these are serious criminals, you know? I mean, these people, like, overthrow governments. What do I do? But I guess it's just, if they're having to mess with me, though, it shows how pathetic they are. Well, now, there's a tremendous move toward localism. So I think people's media becomes very local, just like everything else is becoming more local. Economies are sure. becoming more local. Me media is becoming more local. And there will always be room for honest discourse. All right, I'm going to hand the baton to this guy because I'm hogging the hour, and, I, and I'm honored he's here doing the hour. Anthony Kumi of compoundmedia.com. Take over, my friend. Thank you so much. I, I just wanted to get your, you know, your take on all this. Absolutely. Thanks, Alex. Unbelievable. Uh, yeah, that's he is the guy no, now that they're looking at and saying, wow, this this is a danger to us. They don't like uh, when people start encroaching on their territory, uh, just like we saw with Donald Trump, an absolute non-politician. And uh, he comes in 
and takes over. Yeah, I've never held public office in my life. I, yeah, I run businesses and stuff. Yeah, let me run for president. I think I just want to be president of the United States. Why? Uh, favors? You owe people favors? You, you, you need money or something? You need to... No, no, I just really kind of like the country. I, 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 I love what it's uh, given me, the opportunities it's given me and my family. And I want to give back a little. And I see how horrible this is as far as uh, uh, who has been in charge over uh, the past few years. So that's what... So they don't know what to do about that. It freaks them out that they uh, have these people that are coming into their little uh, their little playroom. And as far as the media uh, media goes, absolutely, you got Alex Jones uh, saying things that uh, the the mainstream media won't say and won't talk about because again, they're in bed with this one and have uh, relationships and owe this one a favor and that one. These are all now alternative media that has nothing to do with paying people back. It's let's get the truth out there. People want to hear it. Hey, we want people to watch us and listen to us. Uh, and, and that's what they're going to get. And that's what we want to do. It's not about trading favors. Be right back. More than 20 years ago, when I started InfoWars, I was a fitness addict. As time went on, my metabolism slowed down. I quit working out. I was working 18 hours a day, and I gained right at 100 pounds. I started to exercise really hard again, and I started to try to eat healthy. Started taking third-party supplements. Started seeing some more gains. But when I started working with Dr. Group and some of the other top formulators in the country, they said, Alex, it's all about trace elements and things that the population is absolutely deficient in. Boom, weight started pouring off. Toxins started coming out of my body. Then, by early 2016, I was in the best shape of my life since I'd been in really good shape in my 20s. But the election heated up, I started working 14, 15, 16 hours a day. But more importantly, I stopped taking the supplements because we rearranged the kitchen and somebody took the Lazy Susan off the kitchen table where I took some every morning and I just kind of forgot about it. It was out of sight, out of mind. And so then I realized this morning, I said, we're going to put the Lazy Susan back on the table and I'm going to start taking it religiously again. And I'm going to work out like I've been the last few weeks at the same level. It's the holiday, so I'll probably eat more. And whatever the results are, I'm going to publish the findings. It's December 5th, 2016. We're only like 25 days from 2017. And I want to invite all of the info warriors of every race, color, and creed that bleed red blood and love liberty, justice, and truth to make our bodies great again.